Hey guys, it is Greg again. If you landed on my YouTube channel, do me a favor, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, It'd be greatly appreciated. I am going over a coin called Helium today. There's a user who wanted me to go over Helium. I'm gonna do that, but real quick, I wanted to show you guys something about the panic that's going on in the cryptoverse. Look at this, USDC dominance and USDT dominance is up 6% today. Everybody is rolling into the stables right now, guys. Some point, just to let you know, some point this is going to come up as long as it doesn't take these peaks out. If it takes these peaks out, give you guys an idea. If it doesn't take the peak out, it's going to come up and it's eventually going to do a correction. But if it thinks, if they keep, keeps doing this, what will happen, this will be an extended third wave. It'll go over here if it takes everything out like right there and now your third waves and it's going to do another run up just to give you guys an idea right now this is the peak of the third came down this is the fifth here's the fourth and it looks like it's still in a fifth but just letting you guys know that you, over here the usdc dominance and usdt dominance are just they're going they're going pretty crazy right here if you can see anyhow i want to go over uh helium hnt it's um just going over it. This is this is uh I have not looked at this coin before. I just what I've looked at it, I just briefly went over it 15 minutes uh prior. Don't know anything about it. I can tell you just looking at the surface right now between the chart and what I'm seeing, it's looking pretty darn good for this coin. And it's ranked uh 51 on market cap. It has a market cap of nine out just under a billion. This is something you want to pay attention to, though, is the uh, total supply, and it's, it has that circulating supply out. Okay, so you see it's fully diluted valuation. What that means is that it can still pump, okay? It can still pump. If you're going to hold the coin for any length of time, you could have inflation issues where it might not have as much price appreciation, or it might price night just might not go up at all depending on how bad it is so you want to pay attention i'm not going to go in and i didn't want to look into that too much i just want to look at the chart what it's going to tell us and so far it's looking very bright they have 169 almost 170 thousand followers their uh website looks looks good and just going through here you know they put these names on here i don't know if, if they have what what's going on with these names you know these are big names you know they got these big name companies on there and i don't know if they're trying to relate that with it but they do have down here they said helium's used by all these companies i don't know all the names of these companies but you know i'd salesforce um the, you know some pretty decent stuff so it, it looks really really good for uh so far for this helium company where I guess you can buy one of these things and then you can mine crypto. And I guess you mine helium, possibly. So everything looks everything looks good. Let's take a look at the uh the chart on helium. Now I'm laughing because this is so bullish. I mean, this is absolutely crazy on uh, this coin right here. If you bought it at the bottom and you had a massive run up of 19,000%, so massive gain. So the question is, what it did over here, can it correct and do it over there? There's a possibility. Now, this is a nice chart, guys. You know, you you. this is just my take on it. When you're looking at things to look into, not financial advice to invest into, you also wanna check the chart. The chart can tell you a lot because people's behaviors are in the chart. To give you an example of another coin that I would, be cautious of is Tron. So you can see Tron, it has moves like this over here, very rapid moves. Now that kind of ha that could have, have done something with the previous uh, market where crypto uh, market, the cryptocurrency market was not as uh, mature, but you know, just looking at it and the moves that it's making, it's not clean to me. This is something that I would not get involved in at this time. Uh, the chart does is, is overall look at it. It's it's telling me, mm, can you make money with it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm not saying that you can't. It can make massive moves from here to here. But I like clean charts, especially in the cryptocurrency market. So they have a clean chart with a massive move, five wave move up here. You can see this. This here's its two. 
and here's a uh, fourth wave move and it had a parabolic uh, fifth wave run right up here guys and now it's correcting now it's correcting so the move that it's doing is it started down here it made a wave one it's coming down into a two and it's going to do a three okay i'm going to clean that up now i looked at this real quick i think this is kind of a diagonal type move that it made could be wrong i don't think so a five wave here a move uh went a little bit bigger on the three and then uh came down on a five now i don't think that three might be bigger so it came down 52% on that one. And then this three was 54%. Take out the wicks, it was a little bit less. So this was longer and this was about the same, a little bit shorter possibly, and this is shorter. So it could be a diagonal with a little bit of a wick throw over right there. Um, and the RSI supports that. So you can see um, from here, it came down, went back up, came back down for a third wave and came back up and made that uh, divergence down here, okay? And slowed up. And then it went into an X wave or an, a B wave. You can see that from here and went up in the RSI, okay? So there's a move there and now it came down to here and rapidly came down to here, third, third fourth and fifth, right there you can see the divergence down there so this is uh likely one two three four and whiz down on a five it looks like divergence supports that so in my opinion it made a nice clean a b c and that's a corrected seek that's a completed sequence now the question is is it done don't know we don't know so if it's not done then it's going to make a move, this three-way move, this will be a connector, it'll come up and then swing back down again, okay? Just don't know yet. Now, let me take clean that up. So it did a nice three-way swing down. What's the RSI look like as far as depth? Oh, look at that. It came way down there. It's definitely something significant. It came way down there in that third wave, made the bullish divergence, and now it's whizzing back up. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this, what it's doing right here. Okay, it came back down, whizzed up on that, came back down. This, this could be the only thing that you, I could suggest you, you could do with this coin. It's gonna depend on Bitcoin. It uh, whizzed back up and maintained that low which is good. So here's the low of $6.69 and it's whizzing back up on that. So let's take a look, closer look at this. Um, gonna have to see if it can make a sequence, guys. So a lot of people are gonna look at this possibly from an Elliott Wave perspective and go, ah, it's all corrective. It, it, and it could be, it could be. If it's bearish, it's coming up to make that X and it's gonna come back down. So the only thing you can do is pay attention to this low. And if it breaks it, you have your answer. If it doesn't break it, uh, you have your answer. It's, it's really that simple, guys. And nobody else can, can know if this is bullish, really, or, or um, bearish. You know, you could get that out of it. But, like, this is a three-wave move, and it came down on a three-wave move. And here's another three-wave move and another three-wave, it looks like. So it could be, if, you, if you're bullish with this coin, it could be a, a one, two, some sort of three. It could, maybe this is the three wave move it's making and then it's gonna whiz back up on a five. So it could be three here and then three back up. And it could be some type of uh, bullish move like that. So it wouldn't come up that high, it'd be like that. Some sort of bullish move, diagonal type move that it made. And it would be like this. You know, it's a little bit too symmetrical for my taste. So it's probably uh, maybe something like that. It could do something like that. That's all you can do is wait to see what it's going to do. The good news is this low was not broken. This, the low on this coin right here, yeah, was not broken. It came right down to it. And usually that's a sign of a nice second wave type move. 
you know, you take a uh, fib retracement on that and you look at that, put it, to, put it from the bottom of here to the top of there, and you can see almost one-to-one, -one, very deep retracement, and it went back up. That's usually an indication of some type of like, in my opinion, like a second wave move. And um, you just have to wait and see what this thing's going to do. And so I can say, you know, overall, it's a super bullish coin. You know, if if uh, if Bitcoin has more dark days, you know, there's a really good chance that obviously this is going to be your your W up for an X and then a swing back down for a Y. And let's take a look at the retracement on this whole whole leg. It's a shallow retracement. I can tell by looking at it, um, you know, all the way down here and retrace that, you know, 382 on the right there. It's a very, very shallow retracement. But you have to realize, too, that uh, cryptocurrencies can be super bullish and do shallow retracements. You know, usually you want to see this at 50 percent on the Fibonacci levels. Let's take a look at it off log, you know, off a of log. It's coming, um, excuse me, it's it's down nice and deep. You know, a lot of people that use this uh, this type of method, a 786 and an 886 correction is really, really good. Um, they would be happy with that. They would, there's people that would say, oh yeah, the correction's over if you use that method. Uh, I use a little bit, I like to use the logarithmic method. And this would be a shallow retracement, not to say that the correction could be over, it could be. You know, it's going to depend on Bitcoin. It's going to depend on Ethereum. If they uh, are, you know, if they have more to dump, my suspicion is that I don't think they have a whole lot more. So this could maintain it and get out of here. So that's a possibility with this coin. It's extremely, extremely bullish coin. Let's take a look at, you know, uh, just say the uh, target on, on something like this. It comes down and let's say if that's the, uh, that's the, retracement just right there you know i mean you're looking at some massive massive gains here guys like super super massive gains of probably you know 90 bucks and um that's going to be crazy with a coin like this let's see here what's it at nine ah so you got it for seven bucks you know you're looking at not uh, 10x right there, but it'll, it'll go higher. If if this is the low and and this is in Bitcoin and Ethereum are bullish, this this is going to target probably well over a hundred dollars, um, in my opinion, would be the next one going making that move out of there. But it has good. It's it's a very very bullish move, very uh, nice correction, clean. It has nice deep retracement down there on that RSI. You know, it reset it reset everything. It took everything out, nice and deep. Um, the only concern is that come down, it could be an X to swing back down again, guys. That's what you have to be concerned with. So that low right there at uh, $6 and 70 cents is what you need to pay attention to, to see if you can maintain it. And then, uh, you know, uh, if I was looking at it, I'd be looking, okay, is it, is it going to come swing back down and blast back up? That's what it will do on these moves. The fifth wave will be lo the longest wave. So here's the second wave. The third wave's got to be a little bit longer. The fourth wave will come down. It needs to be longer than that second wave. And then it'll blast back up like that. And you'd be like, oh, okay, maybe it is bullish. That's all I can say about it for now, time being. Otherwise, it's a really, really good coin. It's bullish sequence. Everything's looking like when the markets turn back around, the cryptocurrency markets turn back around, it'll be greener pastures more than likely with this coin. Thanks for watching. Peace.